Before going to the topic, see an activity to know about this clearly. Take a coin, a glass and some water. Now place the glass on the coin. Now pour some water in the glass. Observe this. The coin is not visible. Is there a coin on the table or is it disappear? Let us check this. Who coin is there? Due to total internal reflection, it is possible. So today we are going to learn about total internal reflection. What is light? Light is an electromagnetic spectrum which is visible to human eye. Then what is total internal reflection? When the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, the light ray gets reflected into the denser medium at the interface. That is, light never enters the rarer medium. This phenomenon is called total internal reflection. Let us understand. But before going to understand this definition, we have to know about critical angle. At which a certain angle of incidence, the refracted ray does not come out but grazes the interface separating air and water. This angle of incidence is known as critical angle. This is possible when light ray travels from denser to rarer medium. Observe this activity. Let us this is interface separating air and water. Take an incident ray from water such a way as perpendicular to the interface at a particular point. Here angle of incidence is zero so there is no refraction in the air. Take the incident ray such as angle of incidence is 30 degrees. As this refraction is from denser to rarer medium, the angle of refraction should be more than the angle of incidence. So let us assume the angle of refraction is 55 degrees. Now take the incident ray as angle of incidence is 45 degrees. Here let us assume the angle of refraction is 70 degrees. While increasing the angle of incidence in this way, at a particular angle of incidence, the angle of refraction should be 90 degrees. That particular angle of incidence is called critical angle because the refracted ray does not come out but grazes the interface separating air and water. This critical angle is denoted with C. Let us take the refractive indices of air and water are N1 and N2 respectively. According to Snell's law, sin i by sin r is equal to N2 by N1. Here i is equal to C and r is equal to 90 degrees. So sin C by sin 90 is equal to 1 by N12. That is sin C is equal to 1 by N12. Here, N12 is called refractive index of water with respect to air. Now, let us go to understand the definition of total internal reflection. When the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, the light ray gets reflected into the denser medium at the interface. That is, light never enters the rarer medium. This phenomenon is called total internal reflection. There are many interesting situations around us which involve the phenomenon of total internal reflection. One of that is a mirage, which we witness while driving or while walking on a road during a hot summer day. Mirages Mirage is an optical illusion where it appears that water has collected on the road at a distant place, but when we get there, we don't find any water. When the light from a tall object such as tree or from the sky passes through a medium just above the road whose refractive index decreases towards ground, 
it suffers refraction and takes a curved path because of total internal reflection hence we feel the illusion of water being present on road which is the virtual image of the sky and an inverted image of tree on the road applications of total internal reflection brilliance of diamonds the critical angle of a diamond is very low that is 24.4 degrees so if a light ray enters a diamond it is very likely to undergo total internal reflection which makes the diamond shine optical fibers an optical fiber is very thin fiber made of glass or plastic having radius about a micrometer that is 10 power minus 6 meters because of the small radius of the fiber light going into it makes nearly glancing incidence on the wall the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle and hence total internal reflection takes place the light is thus transmitted along the fiber as you can see this activity light ray is bending through the flow of water from the bottle endoscopic cables the doctor inserts an optical fiber pipe into the stomach through the mouth light is sent down through one set of fibers in the pipe this illuminates the inside of the stomach the light from the inside travels back through another set of fibers in the pipe and the viewer gets the image at the outer end as you can see this activity light ray is bending through the curved water pipe one of the another application of total internal reflection is formation of rainbow when do you see a rainbow in the sky? We can see a rainbow when the sun is behind us and falling rain is in front of us. How it is forming? Because after raining or while raining, millions of tiny water droplets are there in the atmosphere. The sunlight rays reaching the opposite side of the water drop each light ray is reflected back into the drop because of total internal reflection. In the formation of rainbow, there is not only this total internal reflection phenomenon, but also there is another phenomenon called dispersion of light. Then what is dispersion of light? The splitting of white light into different colors is called dispersion of light. Watch the next video to know about the dispersion of light.